Is porn really that bad for you? I'm Dr. Trish Lee, cognitive neuroscientist and sex addiction recovery coach. In this video, I'm going to share with you the fact that porn really is that bad for you. And I'm going to share why, and I'm going to share with you how it shows up in your life and how those ways are related back to how your brain is performing. So we're gonna talk about how does porn mess with your life? Number two, how porn messes with your brain to create all the problems in your life. And number three, what you can do to quit porn, leave it behind and ride off into the sunset. Now this video is a direct response to my dear husband who last week said to me, you know, Trish, most guys don't think watching porn is that big of a deal. And he started naming our friends. Hello friends, if you're watching my video the guy friends that I hang out with all the time. He's like, you know him? He doesn't think porn's that big of a deal. You know him? He doesn't think porn is that, you know, big of a problem. I know that, hubs. That's why I am here making these videos because I want men specifically to know that watching porn is in fact damaging your brain significantly, creating problems in your life that you probably don't link back to your porn use and that there's a better way to live so that you don't have these brain problems and these life problems. So without further ado, let's dig in. Number one, how does porn create problems in your life? What are those problems? What do they look like? Okay, so if you struggle with motivation, if you find that your job doesn't do it for you anymore in a way that it used to, if you are not attracted to your partner as much as you used to, if you have erectile dysfunction, that is a number one major problem that people struggle with. Performance anxiety and erectile dysfunction, and those two things go together. Porn-induced erectile dysfunction is on a significant rise, no pun intended. So that is linked back to your porn use. You might not even know that. Anxiety, depression, mental health challenges, they're all linked back to porn use. If you've had the idea that you wanna cheat on your partner, infidelity, 300% increase in cheating because of porn use, they're completely linked. If you find that you are checking people out in the world all the time, and I encourage you to check your own behavior, see if you're checking people out, see if you're checking young people out. It is linked to porn use, objectification of women, and you end up looking at their body parts for dopamine hit. So we know, let me just back this up for one more second. There's cognitive issues, thinking, memory, Porn-induced ADHD, it creates the brain pattern at the root of ADHD. So if you have attention issues, if you have impulsive behavior, it's difficult for you to make good judgments. It's related to porn use. We know that there's cognitive issues, there's mental and psychological and emotional issues that are steeped in porn use. So if you have challenges in that department and physical issues, erectile dysfunction, general malaise, just not feeling that well. Okay, related to porn. Now, how? Number two, let's talk about what's happening in your brain. What happens in the brain is when you go into the screen and you consume porn, especially if it's frequent, consistent, and with increasing intensity, which for most people it is because of tolerance being built. What happens is your brain is getting dopamine drips when you think about watching porn dopamine deluge or flood when you actually begin to consume pornography. And especially if you edge and if you float your brain in that dopamine state, you are frying out the reward center in your brain, desensitizing it, which is what causes erectile dysfunction and what leads you to more intensity in the screen. And you're also dropping out the frontal lobe, deactivating the frontal lobe that is in charge of executive function, planning and organization, attention, memory, impulse control, judgment. And there's neural pathways from your frontal lobe to the reward center that break, they pump the brakes, they make it so that you stop watching porn, but you can't, the brakes are cut. So it creates a compulsion which moves into addiction. So now you need the screen for the dopamine deluge. 
Now, it's called an AB effect, and I call it the pendulum effect. Guess what happens if you constantly go back to a dopamine deluge? You guessed it, it creates a dopamine deficit in your life. So now you go into your life and there's nowhere near the amount of dopamine that your brain can get in the screen and things don't do it for you there anymore. There's no dopamine. Your brain doesn't want to be engaging in your life. It actually gets stressed out by your life because there's no dopamine, dopamine deficit. So here's the solution, number three. And I know what you're thinking, here it comes. You have to stay out of the screen. So when you stay out of the screen, you no longer get the dopamine drips or the deluge. So guess what happens to the dopamine deficit state? It clears itself up. Now in this video, I'm just gonna give you three simple strategies. And if you've seen my videos before, you've heard me say this before, but please go watch the other videos. Every video has a brain tip strategy at the end that can help you. But I want to remind you of the primary core strategies that I've always offered you. It's to get on purpose in your work, in your relationships, and in your hobbies. These things are dopamine producing. So what does that look like? I'm going to tell you what that looks like. This is your plan for the next week. Write it down. Get out your leather or pleather journal and write this down. Number one, Find a piece of your work that you find exciting or you used to find exciting and do it. Do the part that you like and sit back for a moment and think to yourself, wow, I really just enjoyed that and give yourself a reward for doing it. Get the dopamine flowing in a doubly positive way. Do the work that you love, fire your brain up around it and then reward yourself for doing it. Number two, get on purpose in your relationships. So. Go spend time with people that you care about. Actually let the nervous system come down and be present in that relationship. If you have a honey, do something intimate or build healthy sexuality and have a really nice time with your honey. Spend time with your friends, laugh. Laughter is so dopamine producing. I totally crack up all the time in my life because laughter is so good for you. Go laugh with the people that you love. Number three, do your hobbies. Write down what you are going to do this week. Which one of your hobbies you're going to do. So pick it. Now schedule it in. If it's not scheduled, it's not real. If you're going to play ping pong, write it in your schedule. I'm going to do ping pong. If you're going to box, write in your boxing time. If you're going to do your TRX, Workout, write it in. If you're gonna play chess, write it in. If you're going to take a nap, write it in. Dopamine producing activities, get them in your schedule. Okay, I hope that helps you out. And if you're looking for help on the journey, please reach out to me, drtrishlee.com. I would be honored to help you. And until next time, control your brain, or in fact, it will control you.